Space radiation turns all the dead into zombies. Since there are tons of zombies crawling out of their graves, a scientist invents a collar, and any zombie wearing the collar will be able to suppress their cannibalistic desires as well as become docile and obedient. From then on, human beings have been keeping zombies, such as 24-hour zombie cops, zombie servants, zombie caregivers, and so on, which can be found everywhere. Anyone who doesn't have a zombie will be looked down upon by their neighbors. To keep up with the trend, Mrs. Robinson purchases a zombie servant this day. But it makes Mr. Robinson so nervous that he freezes in place. As the zombie slowly approaches, he screams and drops the glass in his hand. However, the zombie not only doesn't show any aggression, but also leaves the food tray to clean up the glass shards on the floor. Mr. Robinson, who was almost bitten by his zombie father, had decided to pay a million dollars to have his head buried separately to ensure that he would not crawl out of the ground and be made into a slave zombie. But their son Timmy quickly accepts the zombie and names him Fido. One of the first things Fido does for him is to teach a lesson to naughty kids who are always bullying him. Timmy, unwilling to see blood, stops him and quickly becomes fond of this brave zombie. He invites Fido to play baseball with him, but Fido's movement is so slow that he can only play the role of a ball collector. Fido meets an old lady who is almost scared to death while he's picking up the ball. The old lady lifts up the walker to beat up the zombie, but she accidentally loosens the zombie Fido's collar, and then Fido's bloodthirsty nature instantly returns. Opening his mouth to bite the old lady to death, Timmy comes here when Fido doesn't return home. As soon as Fido sees him, he walks over to him with a vengeance. Timmy closes his eyes in fear, but the next moment Fido regains his senses. Looks like the collar is working again. Timmy couldn't help but complain about the poor workmanship of the collar, which caused the zombie control effect to come and go. In order not to let anyone find out, he quickly takes Fido away from here. But it doesn't end there. During the night, the dead old lady turns into a zombie and quickly bites a man who happens to be walking his dog. Timmy is worried about being discovered, so he carries a shovel and goes to bury the old lady. But how come the old lady let him go when she sees a living human being? Timmy beats her mercilessly with the shovel to stay alive. He removes the old lady's head, because only when the head is gone will the zombie go to sleep for good. After all that, Timmy goes back to his cot to lie down. But in the middle of the night, Fido, who is chained up in the yard, starts screaming like crazy. Timmy runs over to see that his collar has come loose. At a loss for what to do, his neighbor offers to help. His neighbor owns a beautiful zombie as a girlfriend. While he repairs the collar, he tells Timmy about the walker. Turns out, he put the collar on his girlfriend when she was about to die and kept her with him as a zombie. Timmy wondered how the collar was invented. The neighbor said he heard that a scientist couldn't accept his wife turning into a zombie and leaving him. So he invented the collar. Fido reached for the cigarettes on the table. The neighbor saw this and handed Fido his cigarettes. Fido took a deep drag on the cigarette and felt very satisfied. Timmy realized that Fido was a smoker when he was alive. Soon Fido's collar was repaired and he was back to being a non-biting zombie. The next day, Timmy's family had to attend a funeral in order to show off her family's zombie. Mrs. Robinson personally dressed Fido in a nice suit. The close proximity of dressing, the zombie caused Fido and Mrs. Robinson to have second thoughts. Timmy's dad loved funerals and he always emphasized that when he died, he had to bury his head in the ground and never turn into a zombie. Timmy wasn't interested in funerals. He kept asking his mom if God loves everyone. Does that include biting zombies? Mrs. Robinson thinks the world is full of love and affirms that it's not their fault that walkers are the way they are. Timmy's eyes narrowed with a smile, thinking that Fido's biting that old lady was no big mistake. He's about to confess everything to his mom when his dad interrupts and goes on and on about how good humans are and how bad walkers are. Mrs. Robinson said to him, You'll be buried alone. My son and I are going to be zombies. When they got home, Timmy and Fido had a great time washing the car. Mrs. Robinson originally had one glass of water for Timmy. But when she saw how much fun they were having, she turned around and got three glasses of water. From the moment she brought the water out the door, Fido's heart was pounding and he couldn't take his eyes off of it. Compared to the three of them, Timmy's dad was almost non-existent. I mean, he's not playing with his son and now he's playing with his friends. Mrs. Robinson got upset and told him she was pregnant to keep him home. But her husband just looked at her belly and said, You're dead in fat! And left. Timmy took Fido to the mountains to play. But the two kids who bullied him before grabbed them with weapons and wanted to play a cruel game. They untied Fido's collar and prepared to shoot him in the head. It's well known that a zombie can't make a mess without his head. But the two kids were not good shots and ran away in fear. So Fido bites them to death and then pounces on Timmy who is tied up. Suddenly Fido stopped, opening his bloody mouth and untied Timmy. This surprised Timmy, 
but Fido couldn't untie him, even after three hours of work. Timmy suggested that he should go back to his mom for help, because of the speed limitations of the zombies. Fido walked slowly home to take Mrs. Robinson to the cabin. During the drive, Mrs. Robinson was surprised to find Fido without his collar. She immediately picked up the gun in her hand, but a few seconds later she put it down. The fact that Fido had been hurt in all that time, even without the collar, was enough to allay her fears. Mrs. Robinson arrives at the cabin to see the zombie kid lunging at her son. She calmly pulls out her gun and takes care of the situation before heading back to the house. At night, Mrs. Robinson invites her husband to dance in an attempt to return to the good old days. However, not only was her husband not at all interested in romance, he wasn't willing to dance with her. That's alright. If her husband wouldn't, Fido would. So she took Fido and danced. When her husband saw this, he was so angry that he took out his zombie remote and tortured Fido. Mrs. Robinson apologizes to Fido, guilt-ridden, and says fondly how wonderful it would have been if she'd known Fido before he died. But Fido was tracked away the next day. Turns out the old lady, he bit became a zombie and bit a guy walking his dog. Then the man walking his dog also became a zombie and went around biting people, causing a lot of trouble in the town. The police found out that Fido was the cause of all the disasters, so Fido was reclaimed by the zombie company. Timmy thought that Fido must have been dragged away to be destroyed, and he couldn't stop crying. At this time, his best friend told him that Fido didn't die but was put to work in a factory, because zombies can't work for money. The zombie company usually doesn't want to kill them. It turns out that his best friend's father is the director of the zombie company, and that's what she learned it from him. Timmy leaves a note to his parents and drags his neighbor to the company to save Fido. There are a lot of zombies in this company. He purposely undoes a walker's collar, then lets Timmy slip into the office to get to Fido while he's still in the mess. Unfortunately, the manager spotted Timmy on the surveillance camera. Then he abducted Timmy and put him in the zombie wilderness, where there are countless zombies without collars. Once a person is bitten, he will die and become a zombie. On the other hand, Timmy's mom and dad saw the note and stepped on the gas to break into the office. Mrs. Robinson took care of the situation outside the door, and her husband broke in with a gun in his hand. Fearing that he would die later, he emphasized only one thing. You must bury my head and body separately. I don't want to turn into a zombie. He met Fido when he was looking around the office. Then one person and one zombie went into the wilderness. Luckily the zombies walked slowly. Otherwise Timmy would not have survived to wait for the rescue. Timmy's dad didn't hesitate to fight the manager. Timmy took the opportunity to use the key left on the door to unlock the door and escape. Unfortunately, the manager didn't die, but Timmy's father did. When Timmy saw Fido, he broke his collar and told him to bite the manager. Then the manager was bitten to death by Fido. At this time, other zombies from outside the wilderness rushed over. The company rushed to eliminate the zombies. In the end, Timmy's dad's head was buried as it should have been without turning into a zombie. And the manager soon became a zombie wearing a collar. His daughter, Timmy's best friend, even took him to play with her. Curious, Timmy asked, what do you call him now? Without thinking, his best friend says, I still call him dad. And Fido's life was now even happier. He took a drag on his favorite cigarette and then happily touched Mrs. Robinson's newborn baby. Mrs. Robinson looked at him from a distance and smiled brightly. Fido returned her smile, although he couldn't speak and had a strange smile. Timmy and his family couldn't live without him. This movie is ostensibly about zombies, but it's also about people. Some people become zombies, but they are still brave and warm, and they don't smell of death. Some people are obviously alive, but they are too indifferent to their family and friends, and afraid to let go of their embrace. Such people are not as emotional as the zombies. If a person can really become a zombie after death, would you be willing to turn into a zombie and continue to live? Let's watch a movie together to experience a different life. You can subscribe to save review and leave comments.